Welcome to Cardboard Swords and another Fab For Less video. You've caught me at the kitchen table because we've got something a little bit different today. I went down a bit of a YouTube rabbit hole watching absolute clickbait, things like Timu hauls and unboxings, but it got me thinking. We do Fab For Less budget deck techs, but we don't ever talk about the accessories that you can get on a budget. So, we've got a Timu haul of our own. I'm going to unbox this, see what we got. See if it's worth going for Timu Flesh and Blood TCG accessories. So I'm going to switch to the top down and let's get in. So, let's unbox this and see what we got. Uh, right, we got. Okay, yeah, this was a pretty good one. So, um, we've got a card storage box. I'm just going to move that out of the way, sir. Card storage box. Um, this was. Four pounds, four pounds and four pence. Um, we've done some cube construction and stuff like that on the channel, and I thought actually, you know, like it's one thing building a cube, you got to store it, um, and something like this could be good for that. Oh, it feels a bit stiff, but actually, actually, it's all right. It's all right. There's just a long storage box that fits. Let's have a look. Let's get cards in. Fits your cards in there. Cards fit really nicely, actually. Not sure you'd get dividers in there. I don't know, you might get a divider in. Um, but yeah, standard flesh and blood cards. You'd use this for Ashes Reborn as well. Yeah, four quid. A really long storage box. Not bad. I reckon that's pretty good. Didn't test this with uh, sleeve cards, though. So I might just put a few sleeve cards in, see if they fit. So obviously, if you're... Uh, Thinking about building a cube and putting a cube in here. Yeah, see, if you're putting sleeve cards in there, they don't fit great. And these are not dragon sleeves. Dragon sleeves tend to be a bit longer than these. And yeah, that. I'm not going to wedge those in there any further because they do not fit. Mm, that's an issue for me. I was thinking this would be a good, like, cube box, but the cards aren't going to fit in there. Instead, this is going to be for like your bulk and stuff, um, or unless you're some sort of crazy person who has like a an unsleeved cube. Unsleeved cards in here go in here brilliantly, but yeah, unfortunately, they go in there really nicely. But with a sleeve on, it's just a little bit too long. Sad times. So for me, that's a miss as well. That was four pounds. I thought it was a really good buy, but actually, I want to use that with sleeve cards, and I can't. So, yeah. All right, uh, let's have a look what else we got. Okay, yeah, so this is, um, sorry, I just pulled this out of the bag. This is one of these, like, magnetic uh, card protectors. So if you've got, like, a fancy cold foil or something, or... Uh, an altar like this. Uh, it's one of my Bolton altars. Uh, this is one of those magnetic snap cases. So it's not like the mini snaps. Um, the quality feels all right actually. It's got like a textured edge here. Magnet felt strong when I unsnapped it. Where you put your hero in there with your fancy cold foil equipment, whatever. I mean, fab for less video as if you're going to be rocking the cold foil. Actually, some of the cold foils are pretty cheap now. I mean, if you're playing commoner and stuff. Okay, this is pretty, what, am I doing this wrong or is it me? No, it's me. I'm just making a hash of it. Okay, snapped in there pretty nicely. It's pretty thick. Don't think this is gonna fit in any deck box though. It's not like the mini snaps that fits in the normal deck boxes. This is a bit thicker. But um, this was £1.79 from Timu. I'll leave links to all of these in the description in case you're interested, but yeah, it's not bad. £1.79. Jobs are good. Then. Bolton. Protected in there. By the way, I'm rocking the um, Codex of Beer playmat here. All ready for the calling coming up later this week. Looking forward to that. Right. Let's bring the box back in. So the next thing I got was some budget sleeves. Now. £2.79 I think these were and 
when you've got when you go in your budget sleeves you know that you're really on a budget but and these look really bad um, but you know if you're sleeving up a whole cube that actually it's actually pretty tricky um, can cost quite a lot especially if you're buying premium brand sleeves now these are like the inner sleeve these are like inners and they're like the tuckable inners um, which I've never actually had before I don't really use inner sleeves that much um, they feel alright for inner sleeves though like they don't feel too bad I don't know how, it, how the heck you're supposed to like tuck this this bit in I guess you put it this way and then the little flap goes in behind if anyone knows how to do this like I'm going to make an absolute mess of this but and let's face it, no one's double sleeving a cube. Okay, that's in there, I think. Oh, no. oh, 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 I've really made a mess of that. Okay. I don't like these. I wouldn't I wouldn't buy these again. I mean even up like whatever they were, two pounds seventy or something. I mean I might use them for, for something or other, but I, yeah. They're not, they're actually a little bit baggy on the card as well, so I think you might even struggle to get this in another sleeve afterwards, but yeah, I'm gonna I'll say that one's that one's not a miss. I'm probably not buying that one again. What's next? Alright, okay, yeah, we've got um we've all one of these little deck boxes. Now this isn't like um this isn't like one of your plasticky deck boxes, it's just like you know, like a premium style deck box. comes in a lot of cellophane. Okay, quality feels quite good actually. Uh, this was, let me just have a look at my notes. Uh, Five pounds 84. So I guess these, these are the th kind of things that normally come in at around sort of 12 pounds, 15 pounds, something like that. The quality actually feels really nice. There is a bit of a strange smell to it. Ooh, smells, I don't know, quite plasticky and a bit, a bit gross. Quite a nice magnetic clasp on it. Uh, it's alright. So I think this this holds more. This is this is a hundred card deck box, and this is like the side style one. So you put the cards in sideways, which I quite like. Um, all right. So one thing I have just noticed is if you put your deck in your deck box. And you have anything like your, your card dividers and stuff. Your card divider actually like stops it from closing. I mean, these card dividers are flexible. They kind of bend around the cards, but you don't want to damage your cards. Um, yeah, they're basically like the cards fit pretty much exactly in, like flush, which is really nice for closing it like this. But if you're using card dividers to like separate your sideboard and stuff, it could cause a bit of an issue, depending on type of dividers you're using. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the quality is not bad. It does smell a bit weird, but um, yeah, I reckon I reckon I'd buy that again. Oh my word! Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, oh my. Okay, I'm in terrible physical shape. Literally can't fight my way into a plastic bag. Okay. Um, this one, this is a big one. This is the biggie. So I bought this because um, I mean, with my channel and everything, I'm hauling some gear in my backpack to kind of stream games and stuff. Um, the, the backpack I've been using uh, has kind of given up a bit. It's got it's a bit tatty, it's a bit old. Um, so I bought this camera bag. Um, not really for camera equipment, more for like the dividers are really good for um, for decks and stuff. So you get these dividers, which you can kind of put in. Uh, I'm guessing, okay, so the, the edges of this are Velcro, so you can kind of make your own configurations. Quality feels all right, considering this was 
How much was this actually? How much was this? This was. Oh, okay. you get loads of these dividers. This is definitely not how you configure it. You got this one as well, which I guess is a strap for kind of keeping some stuff in, carrying bigger stuff. Uh, you get some stuff here. You can put your notepad and stuff in there for keeping score. You got like a little pouch there, all zips up um, over the top. The zips feel actually really like heavy duty. They feel really good. There's a little headphone jack there in case you're still using cabled headphones. I reckon I'll just use that with a charging cable maybe. Put a charger in. Now you got this section here which would be great for putting your um, play mat in a, in a tube in there along the side and carry your play mat. Um, for me I'll be carrying a stand for my camera. There's another section here so your play mat might be able to fit in there maybe. Um, hey, there's a little, there's a little secret compartment in here, like a travel compartment, like a, an anti-theft one. It's pretty good. Um, and then yeah, then it comes with this uh, waterproof cover in case it's raining. Protect all your cards. Okay, so I think you're probably configuring it something like this, where you've got loads of places for putting, uh, you know, all your decks and whatever. You can have your UPF decks, your Blitz decks. Um, this flaps over. I think it's going to protect, protect your decks pretty well, to be honest. 24 quid. It's got these little safety latches as well for the zips, so that your zips aren't going to accidentally uh, do those up. Your zips aren't accidentally going to come undone and your decks spill out everywhere. The zips have actually got little locks on, so you can lock them together. And lock those together, so you can put a padlock on there. I mean, well, there's nothing to stop anyone just taking your whole bag, but obviously they can only do what they can do in terms of a backpack. But hey, yeah, 24 quid, that's all right. It could be a good card bag. All right, last one. And we've got just a few dice. Well, these are little, uh, quite nice. I bought them because they were they were yellow. They've got numbers on. They look a little bit similar to the like power um, of the tax, strength of attacks symbols. Um, I thought they would maybe be a little bit bigger than this, but they weren't very expensive. How many have we got? Quite nice. They're quite detailed. Uh, we've got how much were these? These were. $2.99 for 10, but they are pretty nice quality. Uh, yeah, $2.99, 10 dice, something that looks a bit different. I reckon I'd, I might buy these again, They're pretty cool. So there we have it folks, the uh, Flesh and Blood TCG Timu Hall. Um, yeah, some hits and some misses. So um, th at first I thought this was really good. Um, fit loads of cards in, it was four quid. Um, the cards fit in really nicely as well, like they fit perfectly. And there lies the issue because as soon as you try to add a sleeve card, um, that's where it starts to fall apart. So they, they, don't, they don't quite fit in there. And then like, yeah, I don't want to push those in anymore. So if you want to use this for a cube or a battle box or something like that and you want to sleeve the cards you can't um that's an issue so first i thought this was a real hit for four quid actually yeah it's just it's going to end up like just putting your bulk in there or something because you can't put sleeve cards in there so it's a miss um this thing the the, the protector thing now i don't really use these uh, i don't have much of a use for these but if you do i mean I don't know how much you'd pay for one of these normally, probably you know, three or four quid. This one was like £1.79. I have got one like the Ultra Pro ones and I can't really tell the difference between this and the Ultra Pro one. It seems to do the job. If you're sleeving up a lot of these and putting them, a lot of them in the, the magnetic cases and it's costing you a bit of money, then maybe Timu's the place to go save some money on those. Um, but yeah, I, I personally don't use them, so. Um, 
these inner sleeves, these sealable inner sleeves. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I've never used them. Um, these ones feel a bit baggy as well. Um, so I'm not sure you'd even get a, another sleeve over the top of them. They're a miss for me. Like I wouldn't use those again. Where we had the hits, we got like, these dice are really nice. Like they're really nice quality. They look a bit different to your normal dice. They kind of resemble the, the power kind of vibe on the cards and stuff as well. So I quite like those. Um, I would buy those again um, or like in a different color or something. Um, the box, I really like the box. I mean, it's half the price you would pay for like a premium style deck box. And you know, it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel any different to the other premium ones. Only slight issue is that if you're using a card divider, it might cause issues because this is kind of flush with the top of the cards here. So putting a lid down with a card divider in, depending on which card divider you're using, might be an issue. But um, for me, still, that's like, it's a nice deck box for five quid. I mean, you pay three quid for like a normal crappy plastic one. So like, yeah, fiver, pretty good. And then like the biggest hit for me, especially like, cause I carry gear around for filming and stuff. Not a lot of gear because I'm a pretty lazy YouTuber, but you know, I'm not setting up whole rigs for, for streaming and filming and stuff, but I've got, you know, like a little table stand and you know, all the bits I need, a light and stuff. Um, so this is great for me cause I can strap all that to the side of the bag. Um, but equally, if you're not carrying that stuff, you can strap a, a, a playmat tube to the side. Um, there's another space on the side for, a, for maybe a drink or whatever. Um, and then inside being able to put in all your, uh, like all your decks and stuff, there's plenty of space. I can put decks, I can put microphones, I can put, you know, my lights, um, dice, anything else I need. Um, you got extra pockets, extra pouches. Um, this was like a little bit more money. This was like 23 quid. Um, you could buy it, you could buy lesser bags, but this one feels really nice quality. Like I'm happy with it for that money. Um, should last me a little while, so. Yeah, so that's a hit for me as well. Thanks for watching this Fab for Less budget review of Timu Hall card game flesh and blood related accessories. Um, some are hits, some are misses. Uh, if you want links to any of the hits or the misses, they'll all be in the description. Whether that's an affiliate link or not, I haven't really thought about it. I'm not that way inclined. Maybe it will be if I can sort it out in time. Either way, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. We've got plenty more coming down the pipe. And we've got the call in Birmingham later this week. Maybe I'll see you then. Thank you.